I try to be like as straightforward and open and honest with you guys without actually talking about exactly what I want to talk about because what I want to talk about sometimes involve people Hey y'all, what's up? <laughs> no, I know that you guys must be looking you guys must be looking at me and wondering like Jalen, what the is going on? Like nigga, what do you have on your face? But um, this is just gonna be like a random ass vlog I had no intentions of doing this But I was just sitting here and you know stuff popped up in my brain And then when stuff popped up in my brain I wanna tell you guys So I just figured you know since I'm taking care of my skin And you guys know skincare is very important to me I've said that in many of my videos Why not hop on camera like I didn't have time to wash my face off I could have washed my face off But what you guys see is what you guys get So I'm not really scared to get on camera looking like this It is what it is You guys accept me for who I am And that's how we get down so I'm sitting here in my bathroom and in case you guys are wondering what the hell I'm wearing this is actually clear skin it's um from Avon it's a pore penetrating black mineral mask I'm not sure if you guys can see this but um this is what I have on right now <coughs> and now um, yeah I just wanted to go, um come to you guys real quick talk to you guys about some shit because um I recently made like a new friend well he is a new friend, but I mean, I got I got closer to him recently. I'm not gonna say his name because I don't want to put you on blast. But bro, you know who you are. So if you're watching this, then this video was all inspired by you. But um, yeah. So I've gotten very close to someone lately. Like we're not even friends at this point. We're like family. That's how deep it is. And we're just talking about a lot of things. Like a lot of us consider a lot of people to be our friends, right? Like you can be surrounded by a lot of people. Oh, guys, if you hear like there's a lot of like construction and stuff going on, going on around in the neighborhood. So if you guys hear any noise and stuff, just please ignore that. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, you can be surrounded by a lot of people, right? You can associate with a lot of people. You could know a lot of people, but that doesn't necessarily make all these people your friends. We don't really have a better term for calling these people that we associate with like it'll be so weird calling people they're my associates like how how would that make you feel if somebody doesn't refer to you as a friend but refers to you as an associate but yeah we were just talking about stuff and it like it really 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 made sense you could be surrounded by a lot of people but that doesn't necessarily mean they're your friend because the, the word friend has been taken so like out of context that what is a friend at this point what is a friend? Like the thing with me, okay, let's get really real right about now. In case you guys didn't know, like I'm not a problematic person. I'm not someone who wants a lot of things or needs a lot of things to be happy in life. I'm not materialistic. The most that I ask from anyone who associates with me or who is in my circle is just to be honest and straightforward with me. That's all I want from people, honesty. And that is like the hardest thing for some people to do, to be honest. I really don't know why it has to be, because that's the thing, I can respect you more for being honest with me than for lying to me, because I'm going to be more upset at the fact that you lied to me compared to me being upset at what you actually lied about. I don't know, I really don't know, like, that's the thing, when we're growing up, right, we have like little to no worries, because we're young, we're wild, we're free, we have limited responsibilities, like limited to no responsibilities, so being a child is like one of the best part of life, right, bear with me, you guys might be wondering what the hell I'm talking about, but bear with me, when we're young, like we have absolutely nothing to worry about, because our parents take care of everything, know or maybe all our older siblings take care of everything but there comes a point in life when we have to grow the up and a lot of people are stuck in that era in their mind where they're still kids they want to keep doing things that they did when they were younger they want to keep experiencing things that they experienced when they were still you know maybe in college in high school but the reality of it all is that we're growing the fuck up and certain things you have to let go, especially if you want to progress, especially if you want to move forward in life. You can't keep clinging to things that maybe brought you joy in the past when you were younger because the um, liberty that you had when you were young, you don't have it now. You have to grow up. 
like I'm not never gonna lose like the childish part of myself that's what makes up my personality and everything but at the end of the day I know that I'm older now I have more responsibilities now and then there are certain things that I have to do differently some people can't seem to see that and um, that's where you know the whole scenario about choosing your friends wisely comes in I'm gonna try to rinse off my face while I talk to you guys. I hope you guys can actually hear me. Just bear with me. This is not a regular video, so just 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 go along with it, okay? No, another thing that a lot of people don't realize is that life is a freaking journey. You don't expect to understand everything. It doesn't matter what you do, your life will never be exactly where you want it to be or exactly how you want it to be because as individuals, as human beings, we always progress, we always want to move forward, we always want to change, we want, always want to advance. So there comes a point in life when we feel like we're stuck, when we feel like we're not understanding you know, what we want, when we feel confused and that's normal. We feel like we've lost ourselves, we feel like we're having a midlife crisis when we're only like 16 or like 20 or like 21. We feel like, oh my god, I'm getting older but I'm not where I want to be yet. That's normal. Like if you're feeling like that, you're not the only one because life is a journey, okay? It's never, it's not set in stone. Things can change. Everything that happens in life happens because of the choices and decisions that we make, okay? Now according to where you want to be in life, you're gonna have to make decisions and choices according to that. You can't want certain things in life but be making decisions that don't necessarily go with the plans that you want for yourself. You cannot want to be a doctor, but you're studying arts and craft. You cannot want to be a dancer, but you're taking law classes. Doesn't make sense, does it? So, I don't know. I try to be like as straightforward and open and honest with you guys without actually talking about exactly what I want to talk about because what I want to talk about sometimes involves people and I don't really like to you know talk about personal shit that involves other people unless it's just about myself and then I can be transparent with you guys but yeah if you want to be somewhere in life if you know what you want in life or if you have an idea as to what you want in life then you have to start making decisions that are going to lead you to where you want to be okay so for example if you want to be successful if you want a better job then you work towards that if you want nice things and you have a job then you save up to get the shit that you want you cannot want certain things in life you cannot want a lot more out of life yet you're spending recklessly you're growing up that is what i basically want to say we're not the little kids that we used to be before. We're no longer kids, we're adults now and certain things need to change. And that's why it's okay sometimes to let people go. Sometimes in order for you to evolve, in order for you to progress as an individual, you need to let certain things and certain people go. I understand that while you're growing as an individual, while you're trying to get to where you want to be, you would like to bring people along with you, but if they're not ready for that journey, there's nothing you can do. One of the biggest things that I've learned in 2019 is that if it's not in your control, if there's nothing that you can do about it, just simply let it go. And that's just how I've been living my life lately. As long as it's not in my control, <laughs> bitch, goodbye. It's not always easy to do, but trust me, it works. If you're not in control, let it go. Go. So I guess this is where we come to the end of this video. I really don't know what this video was all about. I just wanted to talk to you guys, wanted to get some things off my chest, wanted to let you guys know what was on my mind. And um, I guess we could make this one a Toilet Chronicles segment. Yeah, this could go on the Toilet Chronicles because I'm in the toilet and we're talking about shit. So yeah, I hope you guys actually enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you guys are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. Turn your post notifications on that way whenever I post anything, you guys, you can be informed. You can come over, check it out, see what this crazy ass nigga is up to. And um, yeah, without any further ado, guys, like I always tell you, remember to keep it safe, fierce, love, and all that good stuff. And until my next one,
peace. No, 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 no. If you guys don't want to leave, there are a lot more videos you guys can stick around, click around, you know, check out some more videos. Like, why not? You're already here. Might as well check out some more, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> you don't gotta go, but I do. So, until the next one. Peace.